too reliant on Patrick Mahomes is that they're built to win MVPs, not Super Bowls. Fair or unfair by me? Well, they're trying to build to win a Super Bowl by trying to improve their defense, right? They got Frank Clark, who really hasn't played probably what they thought he'd be, especially rushing the passer. They added Honey Badger in the back end of the defense. They're trying to build up their defense because we know they're so reliant on their offense. What I found interesting, too, is the previous two weeks, their defense had played the best they had played in a couple of years. Even the end of the Broncos game, when Pat Mahomes wasn't playing in the game, it felt like they knew they had to play better because their offense couldn't bail them out. Now Pat Mahomes comes back and the defense goes back to playing like it has the last couple of years. So I think the mentality of the team in general is let's win with our offense and our defense does enough. But I think they're trying to address that problem. Like I said, they brought in free agents. They drafted defensive players as well. But their offense is so good, they're always going to be reliant on that offense. And I didn't think this was the year anyways. I, th- I thought the Patriots, I still think, are going to win the Super Bowl. But if they keep adding to the defense, I think they'll get there eventually. By the way, you're an offensive lineman. You like to run block over pass block. But when the Cowboys called running plays late, as an offensive lineman, would you have questioned that? Well, their center did. Travis Frederick looked over there and uh, yelled some choice words over at the play caller after that third and two run before the fourth down. Um, I think I would have thrown the ball. Look, you get more options to throw the ball, right? Dak can run. There's four passing options, maybe five. The offensive line had pass protected pretty well all night. And you had to run the ball very well. So keep passing the ball. And to me, it's another failure of Jason Garrett. I, I don't know how much longer we can keep going and not give him all the blame. You know, they switch offensive coordinators. They're still having issues with play calling and being too conservative. And I know he's not calling the plays, but his influence is offense. He's an offensive guy. That'd be like saying, uh, you know, someone who, who coaches the defense, let's use Belichick, for example, you blame the assistants for calling the plays. No, you blame Belichick for the defense not playing well. And for some reason, a lot of people like to blame everyone but Jason Garrett it feels like this continues to be his problem. They have a very good team. They have a good offensive line, good quarterback, good running game, stud wide receiver, good tight ends, pass rush, a back end of secondary. They should be winning the NFC right now, and they're not. That's on Garrett. You live in Carolina. Uh, I think it's time to move off Cam, but I don't think Kyle Allen. I think he's a transitional piece. I look at all these young quarterbacks in the league, and he doesn't feel like he's one of the great ones. Am I wrong on that? No, you're not wrong. I think they'll move off Cam just because his contract is cheap to get rid of. And also, I don't know if Ron Rivera will survive the year. I think Ron's an excellent coach. He'll be picked up the next day he gets let go. And if he gets let go, Cam Noon is 100% not on this roster. I think you're right about Kyle Allen. Good story. He's played well within their system. But they're going to have to find someone else. And the problem they're going to run into, in my opinion, is they're not going to have a high enough draft pick to maybe snag one of these top guys in the draft. They're going to have to find either someone to, to stop gap for a year or two or just get really bad next season to get a quarterback. Maybe someone falls to them. You know, we know that the guys slide down the board all the time, but they're going to have to do something at quarterback next year that's not Cam and probably not Kyle Allen. By the way, Darnold yesterday making plays. Uh, Kyler Murray, Lamar. I feel like the offensive lines have regressed in the NFL because college football now is more of a spread offense, and you can only do with what the college game gives you. So it can't be an either-or. I can't just have a pocket guy. Everybody's got to be somewhat elusive. I mean, when you watch yesterday, Kyler Murray, Sam Darnold, uh, those guys, Goff is overwhelmed because he's not athletic. What do you make of the movement at quarterback in this league? Well, I think we're getting a lot of these guys from college, right? You can only play how, you know, how you get from college. You mentioned offensive line, right? Offensive line. I think it's been the same now for about five or, or seven years. But again, not as good blocking. There's a lot more pass protection now as well. And guys don't develop with, with lack of practice time. But these are the quarterbacks we're getting. But Kyler Murray, by the way, he's been really kind of low-key good. And he's been from the pocket. He's been a great pocket passer. Yeah. You, you mentioned Darnold and, and all these guys, Watson, Mahomes, Dak, all the Carson Wentz. They're very mobile, but they are really good throwing from the pocket style. I consider them still to be pocket passers who have elite mobility. Aaron Rodgers always been one of those guys extending plays. But I think in the end, and maybe Lamar Jackson will prove all of us wrong, being able to complete a third and eight pass from the pocket under pressure is the best way to win a Super Bowl in the long run. And I think all those guys we mentioned can do that. Even Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray has done a really good job. They've surprised me offensively. I didn't think they'd adapt to the NFL this quickly, and he has. By the way, Rams are a mess. Why? Who's to blame? 
<laughs> I think there's there's many things to blame. I think the offensive line hasn't been very good this year. They're getting older and they got younger in bad spots. But look, we have teams that have missed offensive linemen this year for injury. The Chiefs are one of them. The Patriots. The Niners have missed two of their, their tackles for four games now. And those teams don't miss a beat. So at some point, it does fall on the, on the coaching staff. I feel like Sean McVay has run the same offense now for three years. There's not much adaptation. There's not much creativity still left in this offense. Look, if so what are running backs out? Figure it out. Your offensive line can't block. Get Goff easy passes. So it feels like, you know, we, I know he's a genius, offensive genius, but all these other guys, Kyle Shanahan is out two tackles and his fullback, and there's no issues with the offense. you got to find a way to scheme up better plays for Goff in this offense, and it feels like McVay hasn't adapted to, you know, to the shift that started last year about week 14 with the Lions, about teams are trying to stop them a certain way, and he hasn't changed how he runs his offense. Is that Goff's problem? Of course it is. But you got to find a way to get him easy throws and move the offense effectively. 30 seconds. Niners host Seattle. Who do you like tonight? Well, Niners at home. That pass rush is elite. And I don't care what their schedule says. That pass rush can play against anyone. Give me uh, the Niners at home with that defense. All right. Good stuff. Jeff Schwartz, his brother Mitchell, of course. I think his streak just ended yesterday. Most snaps in the NFL consecutively played by an offensive lineman. He's unbelievable. They have a book out called Eat My Schwartz with brother Mitch Schwartz. Good seeing you, Jeff. Thank you. Uh, by the way, don't be the guy in the room with a long, sloppy-looking Untuck shirt. Go to untuckit.com. The code is heard. And feel better with M-Drive. Supplement every day makes you feel better. M-Driveformen.com. The code is heard. 20% off. Refind your prime with M-Drive. All right. We had a uh, third hour is coming up. We're going to go live to Dallas. Uh, Jason Garrett getting some heat today in Big D on the performance of the Cowboys um, you know, you, Trent Dilfer said it's the defensive coaches. All I know is when I watched Dak last night, that's not the issue. I, I, I got to tell you, I, I sat and watched every game yesterday. We have so many good young quarterbacks, and we got three great ones coming out of college. We got backups now. Teddy Bridgewater is a franchise quarterback. He's a backup. So the game's never been in better hands. We're going to Dallas. Don't go anywhere. Hour three coming up live in L.A. on Veterans Day. It's the Herd.